When Nancy Pelosi was first elected, there were just 12 Democratic women in the House. Today, more than a third of House Democrats are women. It's extremely important to grow the ranks of women in Congress. Whether it's paid family leave, whether it's minimum wage. As a single parent, I know how important it is to have that support. It's not only the right thing to do for women in this country, it's the right thing to do for everyone. And as Democratic leader, Nancy Pelosi has brought more women into leadership roles than ever before. Together, they've made a real difference for millions of Americans. And they're leading the fight against Republicans in Congress who want to take away a woman's right to choose and turn back the clock on equality. When I see Leader Nancy Pelosi at the podium, it reminds me every day why I want to be a stronger voice for women. Because when women succeed, America succeeds. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Democratic Leader Representative Nancy Pelosi from California and the women of the United States House of Representatives. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. In in 1776, not very far from here, our founding fathers created our nation. 96 years after America's women first won the right to vote, 96 years ago, we are preparing to shatter the highest, strongest marble ceiling in our country by electing Hillary Clinton President of the United States. Aren't you proud to be part of this historic moment in our history? <laughs> Hillary Clinton knows that this moment is not just about one woman's achievement, but about a woman, well, what a woman president will mean to, for the dreams and hopes and aspirations of every woman and every son and every daughter across the land for generations to come. The Democratic women of the House are leading the way to unleash the power of America's women and working families in our economy, in our society, and in our democracy. Nothing is more wholesome for, the Ameri for America than the increased participation of, and leadership of women in government and politics. Here tonight are women leaders who personify the integrity, imagination, and idealism, and indeed the courage that will build a stronger America for hardworking families. As Hillary Clinton did, they have spent their lifetimes fighting for women and children. And in November, we will affirm that great truth of our country. When women succeed, America succeeds. Hi, I'm Congresswoman Doris Matsui from the great state of California. Today, the success of women is more important than ever to the strength of working families. Women are fueling the future of the American economy. That's why House Democrats created the economic agenda. When women succeed, America succeeds. We have four keys to unlock the full potential of women and working families. Fair pay, raising the minimum wage and ensuring equal pay for equal work. Paid leave empowering women and men to balance the responsibilities of work and family, and affordable, quality childcare, and
strengthen retirement security for women to enter their twilight years with confidence and with dignity. We will fight Republican attempts to weaken social security. <laughs> Hillary Clinton stands with us, and we stand with her on every one of these commitments. Together, we will build a stronger America for our families. Good evening. I'm Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky. Thank you. From Illinois, the birthplace of Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton and House Democrats believe a stronger America means protecting women's rights and expanding women's opportunities. Donald Trump and Republicans in Congress have other priorities meddling in women's most intimate decisions, jeopardizing women's health, even criminalizing women's choices. When it comes to the issues between women and their doctors, House Republicans misrepresent, they intimidate, and they undermine. In this Congress alone, they've voted 14 times to attack women's health. Republicans continue to attack the Affordable Care Act while it provides newfound health security to millions of Americans. Because of health care reform, no longer can insurance companies charge you more just because you're a woman. And for the first time in history, no longer is being a woman a pre-existing condition. Democrats are fighting back against the Republican anti-woman crusade. It's 2016, and American women are not going back. We are moving forward. Hi, I am Congresswoman Nidia Velasquez from the great state of New York. America's small businesses and entrepreneurs have always been at the heart of our economy and the true engine of job creation in our communities. And today, more women are starting small businesses than ever before. Women-owned and women-operated small businesses are the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs in America today. Women of color and women veterans are quickly transforming the face of entrepreneurship in our country. Women entrepreneurs are building a stronger America every day. They need the capital to grow and the tools to thrive. Hillary Clinton has a plan that will ensure all of America's small businesses can compete and succeed in the global economy. Because Hillary sides with the leader guy, that is why I am with her. I'm Congresswoman Susan Dolbene from the great state of Washington. Before coming to Congress, I was an entrepreneur, and I know that innovation is at the heart of who we are as Americans. And it's essential to keeping American workers, American products, and American ideas number one in the 21st century. A decade ago, House Democrats enacted the first innovation agenda. And with the majority, we made revolutionary investments in clean energy development, in affordable world-class STEM education, and in expanding broadband to rural families. And House Democrats will work with President Hillary Clinton to sustain America's lead in innovation.
creating good paying jobs, powering our economy, and driving bold solutions to the challenges facing our climate and our communities. A strong America, an America that's stronger together, will lead the world in entrepreneurship, in innovation, and clean energy. Hi, I am Congresswoman Bonnie Watson Coleman, and I come from the great state of New Jersey. House Democrats believe that America is strongest when we have an economy that works for everybody, not just those at the top. If you are willing to work hard in our country, you deserve a secure financial future and a strong foothold on the American dream. Buying a home, sending children to college, and real retirement security. We should be creating jobs by upgrading our roads, bridges, broadbands, transit systems, energy grids, and water infrastructures. And we can pay for this progress by closing loopholes and making big corporations pay their fair share. <laughs> Democrats, led by Hillary Clinton, know that we must make college more affordable and lift the crushing burden of student debt that weighs on the futures of many young Americans and their families. America is stronger when everyone has a chance to succeed. I'm Congresswoman Lois Frankel of the Sunshine State of Florida. I am the proud mother of a United States Marine veteran who served in Iraq and Afghanistan. Our men and women in uniform, our veterans and our military families give everything to our country. They embody our highest ideals, service, selflessness, and bravery. We owe them a debt of gratitude that we can never fully repay. As Democrats, we believe we have a responsibility to ensure every veteran gets the support, the health care, the education, and the job training he or she needs to succeed. And we're proud to stand by Hillary Clinton a candidate with clear plans to improve the lives of our veterans. Our veterans fought to protect our freedom and our security. We are a stronger America because of their sacrifice, and we owe them a strong future of honor and opportunity. I'm Kathleen Clark of the great Commonwealth of Massachusetts. We stand here tonight because generations of Americans across our history step forward to defend and advance our democracy. In a democracy, it is the voices of the people, not the checkbooks of the privilege, that must drive our politics and our policies. We want the democracy Hillary Clinton believes in, one that fights to make sure America works for everyone, not just the well-connected and the wealthy. The special interests shouldn't be able to buy themselves a louder voice than America's hard-working families. Together, with Hillary Clinton by our side, we will cut the cancer of secret money out of our democracy and overturn Citizens United. What does this mean for American families? It means a stronger America that is free from the grip of the gun lobby. 91 Americans are killed by gun violence every day. Republicans and the big money gun lobby shouldn't be blocking common sense legislation to keep guns out of the wrong hands. We held a sit-in, but now it's time to stand up and stand together 
to demand change. I'm Stephanie Murphy, and I'm running to represent Florida in the House alongside these remarkable women. After 9-11, I left a job in the corporate world to become a national security specialist for the Secretary of Defense. Democrats know a stronger America means confronting the threats abroad without blinking and without undermining our values. Democrats are strengthening our fight against terror by working with our allies, not abandoning them. Democrats know we need to be strong and smart to destroy ISIS and protect America, not reckless and rash. Democrats are ensuring our military has the resources they need to do their job, and our military know how to do their job better than anyone else in the world. My name is Val Demings, and I'm running for Congress in the great state of Florida. I spent 27 years on the Orlando Police Force and had the honor of serving as Orlando's first woman chief of police. I know firsthand the tragedy that gun violence inflicts on families in America. And after 49 people were murdered in a nightclub in Orlando last month, let me tell you, our city takes it personally that Congress refuses to disarm hate. You don't need to be a police chief to know that our communities are less safe when criminals and suspected terrorists can walk into a gun shop or gun show and leave with a weapon. On issue after issue, it's the leadership of women that makes a stronger America. With Hillary Clinton in the White House and these strong House Democratic women, together with women and families all across our nation. We will show the world what this statement really means. When women succeed, America succeeds. Thank you.